All right, we're going to build a solar generator. Yeah, I know it's not actually a generator, it's a power pack. But I had to label it that so people could find the video. It's easy, it's quick, and here's a secret right here. Hang on, I'll show you what it is. All right, Orlando Prepper coming at you. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to build a solar uh, power pack. You can save tremendous money by doing this yourself, and it's easy to do. So let's get into the steps and get it done. Okay, here's what you're going to need, guys. You're going to need a battery. I have a uh, BTR Power lithium phosphate battery here, 100 amp. 12.8 volts, so we got uh, 1,280 watts in there. You're going to need a toolbox big enough for that battery to go in. And you're going to need a charge controller. We're going to go over this a little more in just a few minutes, but I found this new uh, charge controller. It's fantastic. It recovers quick, but uh, this is the basics of what you need. Now, right here, you see a, a power inverter. You just bolt that on. Bingo, you're ready to go. Also put a uh, cigarette lighter jack here so I can run my radios if the power's down. But let's get into this build. It's so easy to do. So what you're going to have to do is measure the inside of your box. Across here, get your measurement. I got 16 inches here. Now my battery, my battery is only 13 inches. So what we have to do is make a bracket. That's what this is. It's just made out of wood. Here's what it looks like if it's not painted when it's sitting down in the box. But uh, you got to make this bracket to fit on the inside walls like that. So it's just sitting there. But it also has to be uh, wide enough, or I should say deep enough this way to fit your battery into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this, we're going to measure the battery this way. How wide is it? Not how long, but how wide. All right. Seven and a half, it says. So we have to make this bracket 16 across here to fit inside these walls. And then, uh, the six and a half this way so your battery can set down in it like this. Let me show you. Just like that. Okay? And it should fit snug around your battery. Most batteries have a little lip around the top of them. You want to measure uh, how wide that is right under that lip that says six and a half not seven and a half but when you pull this up here it should fit tight and stay in place just like that that'll hold it keep it from moving in that box when you want to move it around uh, when the lights are out you want to go from room to room with it uh, let me get my wires out of the way here from my components that I already have in place because those, you just drill some holes, put your components in place, and wire them up. Very simple to do. So now we have the, we have our bracket made. We've got to set our battery in there, make it fit nice and tight. Okay, there we go. Fit perfect. Now that battery won't move around in that box. As you, you know, move it around your house and go from location to location where you want to put power. It's that simple. That one little bracket is the secret to building these things. Okay, now let's get to the uh, power inverter and the uh, cigarette lighter jack. Show you how I put these on. Very simple. Just drill some holes, some uh, three, eight, uh, three sixteenths holes. And bolted the inverter onto the side. Drilled a hole here to run the wire in. And then the cigarette lighter jack, of course, you 
drill a one inch hole and it just pops in there and screws into the back. I actually took the battery out so I could show you this. Right here. The wiring is right here. Here's your cigarette lighter jack. And here's your wire coming in from the inverter. That simple. Okay, once you have your wires, run inside the box and your cigarette lighter jack. You actually run uh, run them outside this bracket in the front and the back. These come from the inverter. These two come from the cigarette lighter jack. And now we're going to hook them up. Okay, the wiring is simple. Red wires go to positive. Charge controller. Red wire will go to positive. And the black wire go to the negative. So let me get that hooked up. Okay, we got everything hooked up here. As you can see, we got the cigarette lighter jack hooked up here. We got the uh, power inverter hooked up here. And we have the charge controller hooked up. Now, one thing you're going to notice here with this charge controller hooked into the battery is it's not working. I actually bought this charge controller because I like that feature. I can leave that hooked to the battery. It's not turned on, and it doesn't turn on until you hook it to the panel. Let's hook up a panel here and see what happens. There we go. Fire it up. Takes it a couple of seconds to get a reading. There we go. Our battery is at 13.4. Uh, this charge controller will work with uh, sealed or uh, open lead acid batteries, glass mat batteries, or lithium batteries. You have all three battery types there. You can pick the mode here. This is called, the, I think you, you say the word is Shayuda. I'm not sure. It's an Asian word, so I speak Southernese. I don't know how to pronounce that right, but you'll be a link to this, this, and the box below, an affiliate link for Amazon. But I have a total of maybe about $250 in this box. I got over 1,000 watts of usable power. That's a fantastic price. The box doesn't weigh that much at all. I mean, I can pick it up and carry it around. I'm an old man. But uh, the inverter works great. Like I said, I've tested this already. I put an on and off switch here for the inverter because there wasn't one on the unit. So I just put it right there. But that's a great price for this, guys. If you're looking for some power, this will do it. That's it, folks. It's that simple. Get you a tape measure, a little one by twos, make your bracket to fit around your battery, and drop it in the box. You save 250 bucks, minimum 250 bucks. That's why I started this channel, show people how to prepare on the cheap, but still get peak performance from everything, your food, your tools, uh, you know, your power, whatever. Hopefully it'll help you out. So I'm going to get out of here. I want to say thank you to everybody that watched. If you hung around this long, I appreciate it. With that, I'm going to say stay strong, keep prepping, and pray for the USA. Orlando Prepper is out.